Next up, we had the modulation window. So here I've just loaded up a haze sound so that you can hear something more sustained, so it's more obvious. We have uh, two separate LFOs to control all of the parameters here, and we also have two separate step sequences. So on top of having every step having its own subsequence, you can then modulate and have effects go on top of that with its own step sequencer. Really, hopefully you understand why this is called Project Chaos by this point. Okay, so if I play this, so layer one, with every... Every modulation has volume, pan, tune, cutoff, and resonance. And of course, you can control some of the filters uh, effects down here too, but we're gonna come onto that in a minute. So what I'll do right now is I'm just gonna pull the filter down so we can hear this. And now all you have to do to make this work is let's say we want LFO2, which at the minute is a sine wave, and you can change what shape just by clicking here. And you can, there we go. And you can also change where uh, in the actual waveform you want the LFO to go. So if you want something a little bit offbeat, you can do it like that, or you can just set it at standard by dragging it all the way to the left or to the right. So all you have to do to control this, to the right is a positive amount of LFO control, and to the left of this line is a negative. So if I was to pull this down and... You can hear, because this is on a 16th with the rate here, and again, we can change the shape. And if we go negative, that's a good way for using the saw. So if you want the saw wave to go up, bring this down to a slower rate. By using the amp, you can actually control how much it's affecting the sounds overall. So instead of individual sounds, it's more like a ratio dial so that um, this, and then if I pull this up, it's actually affecting all of the controls more. So I usually keep this around 12 o'clock, so it's affecting everything just the right amount. And again, if we go the other way, If we bring in another layer on top of that, let's bring in a drone, switch it on. And again, all we have to do is mess with the dials here. Let's bring on LFO2 here. And one thing to mention is they can overlap each other. So you can create a dual control. In Project Bravo, we had something called the dual control. Here, you're doing it more manually. So we have one LFO, let's set it at 16. And then on the second one, we can actually have an, another sine wave. Also controlling the same parameters. So you can get these rhythmically complex uh, setups just by moving the dials around. Let's bring on some drums or something of the sim. Very simple and easy to use. Then we move over to the mix window. Every layer has its own EQ. It has two sets of EQ. So the left one is frequency. And the right one is gain. A good way to do this is to turn the gain up slightly, find the frequencies which are bothering you, and then cut, such as this. And then that is now gone from the layer. And then on the right here, we have a compressor. So so all the basic controls you'd need in order to create a nice mix.